to get him to settle down is going down every rep here, especially when I don't make a mistake. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels and I have Thunder with me today. He is seven months old and we've been doing a ton with him as far as we've done bumper launcher work, we've done a bird intro, a gunfire intro, he's collar conditioned to recall, and this little guy has a ton of drive and desire. We've seen it throughout all of his videos. So today we're gonna be doing a little drill with him that's going to help him work on patience and the intro to some steadiness for retrieves. If this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and put it in the comments below if you love Thunder and have been following along with some of his videos. So I am using our new little healing tab. This is the prototype, and we're gonna test it out today and see how it works. So the way that this drill is gonna work is I'm gonna be using a bumper. I'm going to throw the bumper. He's going to watch the bumper. This is going to be really good to help him continue to improve on his marking ability, as well as he's very driven. That's an important part of this drill with this young of a puppy. If you've got a dog that lacks a little bit of retrieving desire and drive, you're not going to try and start with some steadiness drills at this point. You still need to be building them up. Well, Thunder at this point doesn't need much more building up, and we do need to work on some patience and start that steadiness intro. So what I will be doing is I'll just have pressure on this healing tab. I'm gonna throw the bumper, he's gonna see it, and then once he settles down and gives into that, and I don't feel him having constant tension on this tab, then I'm gonna send him for that retrieve with his name. So we're gonna let him see this retrieve. We're gonna throw it out here, see how excited he is, but we're gonna keep him under control. You can see he's still pulling quite a bit. Thunder. Did you see that? He finally gave in, sat down, and that's when he got released for that retrieve. Here. Good boy, good boy. Comes back, get the bumper from him. We're gonna go ahead and do another one. My expectation will be, because of timing, as soon as he settles down, he's getting that release to make the retrieve. So my expectation will be he will settle down and quiet down and relax faster and faster. Thunder. Good boy. Here. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and get him set up for another one. Hey, hey. No. You know, he's doing a little bit of whining. I don't wanna be rewarding him for that behavior. I didn't release him, it's, he re released himself, but I'm not able to stop him at this point. And I definitely don't wanna try and stop him. If I make a mistake, he gets the benefit of that. If I try and call him back or stop him on that retrieve, that's not what I wanna be doing at this point with him in this early stages. Thunder. Good boy here. And that time I was able to anticipate, ah, 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 here. I was able to anticipate because the last time I just kind of tried to release a little bit and he slipped it right out of my hands because he felt that release of pressure holding him back and he went with it. So I knew this time to not release my grip as much because he was gonna try and go with that release. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted him to be staying there patient until I released him with his name.
Thunder. Good boy. And even on this little puppy, you can see that healing tab really isn't getting in the way for him at all on these retrieves. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. here, 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 good. Good job, buddy. We're gonna go ahead and do one more and then call that a session for him. You can see the drastic amount of improvement and the length of time to get him to settle down is going down every rep here, especially when I don't make a mistake. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thunder. <laughs> that was a terrible throw, buddy. <laughs> mom, mom threw like a girl. Come here, buddy. Here. <laughs> okay, now he's just being silly, too. So we're going to call him back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, here. Here. Good. We're gonna give you one more real one if mom can throw it right. <laughs> oh, Ethan's gonna throw me one. I'm gonna have a little bit more, more oomph to it. So I'm gonna get him set up. Thunder. I was also waiting for the whining to end a little bit there too. Didn't want to reward him and give him that retrieve when he was still carrying on and whining. We want a nice quiet dog in the blind, don't we buddy? Ah, 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 hey, here. Getting a little sloppy with his retrieves. We're gonna end up using a little more collar and then back to vibrate. Here, ah, 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 he tries to parade. I switch over to a couple nicks on the collar. And then once I've got his focus redirected, I go switch back to vibrate. If he tries to do a little avoidance again, right back to a couple nicks on the collar. Hey, there's more consequence for not coming to me than you think. He can ignore vibrate pretty well. So we need to end up using a little more collar in those situations where he's trying to avoid because we know he knows how to recall directly back to me. So this was a really good intro to patience and steadiness with Thunder. He did a really good job. Couple mistakes made by mom, which happens if you guys don't have a mistake that happens in your training session, then you are perfect. And I would love to see a video of you being perfect. So uh, if you guys have questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise we will see you in our next video.